Hey everybody, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Uh, today's video is going to be the first in a series for the Master Lock combination locks. Uh, it's probably going to cover a couple different brands too and a couple, a couple models, but today is on the 175. Zoom in here so we're... So you can see the 175 on the side. It's a four digit combo and this one has been damaged by the technique that I'm about to show you. And these dials kind of just free spin, they don't, you can tell they kind of just keep rolling. They're supposed to lock in place. It's supposed to take a little tension here, but it doesn't. So I'll show you the technique, and I might have to try it about 30 or 40 times. So I might do some, some speed up and some fast motion here, but we're going to see if we can get this to pop. I learned this from another guy's YouTube channel a couple years ago. Um, what's his name? Vorkev1. I'll go ahead and spell it out for you in the comments, and I'll embed it on my article on my website. So let's give this a shot. We are going to, in essence slam R175 with a heavy mass object and we are going to manipulate this lever right here and get that to kind of shake a little bit and it should pop right open. All right, so we hit the side with the little dot. I did some editing there. I was hitting it the wrong way at first, got a little excited, but it's not a big deal because this is damaged anyway, so we're gonna try it again. There it is. Uh, pros and cons. Pros. It looks freaking cool, it sounds cool. Cons, there's a good chance you're gonna destroy this lock. You can see this faceplate here is kind of backing out of the shell. Uh, the wheels are free spinning, it shakes, so it will damage your lock. It often doesn't happen on the first try, it's loud. You need to carry something heavy in order for it to work. Um, and I have a sneaky suspicion this is gonna be much more difficult and this is bolted on something, and you're in there swinging around something at it. I'm sure it might be possible, but it's probably going to be a pain in the butt. All right, so the reason I did that was because A, this is damaged already because of this technique, and B, we are going to cut this sucker open in our next video, and we're going to use that for some, uh, some really cool comparison training here for tactical lock picking, which is not just sitting on the couch and picking pin tumblers open, but how to use this in the field and how to make decisions and how to plan your target assessment. So thanks for checking us out. It's been a short video. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe. There's going to be more videos in this series coming up. See you next time.